Hi, this is Inelia Benz for Ascension101.com and this is the seven day report seven day report for the experimenting consciousness of existing or having the intent to exist as our essence true joy light love um, for 21 days straight <laughs> a third of the way through, oh my gosh it doesn't feel like seven days at all it doesn't feel like one day It's it's really flown by and on this seventh day, I wanted to take the opportunity to thank Jesse because Jesse really was, was there right from the beginning and she was the first person I contacted about this idea. And she organized a lot of stuff and people and um, she's been um, instrumental to get this exercise going, this um, experiment in consciousness. And she still does a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Um, so thank you, Jessie. I'm going to put a little link to her um, entries in the forum so you know who she is if you haven't met her yet. So thanks, Jessie. Um, I've been thinking that today, and that's why I'm feeling so grateful for um, Jessie who supported this so much and for other support um, that I received in life in general. Um, I've been, I think that's the main thing today. I just, I've just been feeling really grateful uh, for Daniela for being, you know, um, the person who runs Ascension 101, basically. And, um, and you know, it's just, it's been really amazing. It's been an amazing journey for me. Um, I felt it today because there were some stress involved in something that was happening in my life and I felt worry and worry is just pure fear so I did a fear processing exercise on it and then some other issues came up that um, felt you know it's like that heavy weight stuff or what might people call unpleasantness or stress happened later on and I processed through that as well and it basically left behind that sense of what we were talking about before that connection with individuals the connection with other people it's really key to have that connection especially if you're going through a hard patch in life and existing or knowing your essence and knowing that other people's essence are also and acknowledging the essence of everybody every human being on the planet I don't care what they're doing or what programs are running their true essence as a human being human beings is joy like love and I was reading a, a book a few days ago that talked about happiness and one of the things he said is like when you're going through a stressful situation or you're embarking on a really um, challenging project what you should do instead of hiding away or trying to um, isolate yourself so you can cope better to actually hold on to people to see who's around and just hold on to them and don't let go um, not hold on to them like pull them down but hold on as in together yeah communicate with each other and share the what's going on in a in a way that can be co-creative a brainstorming type thing because there's a big difference also when we're feeling under stress and then we just vomit it all onto somebody else that doesn't work it just brings the other person down uh, as far as I have seen anyway and it doesn't help at all but um, and also Embracing the other person in a sense of um, acknowledgement, yeah? Um, the thought, you know, I know people talk about men and women thinking differently about things, that women just want to talk about their problems and they don't really want solutions. And that men just want to find solutions uh, for everything that's happening. My personal experience hasn't really reflected that, although I do acknowledge that I've met both men and women who do that one or the other. But I think that as we move forward in co-creation, sometimes it is simply about how we approach the other person or how we are 
basically using our relationships to um, evolve and not just ourselves but evolve in our relationships and also evolve as a species and that connection when it's not codependent but actually co-creative and you trust individuals that sometimes will simply just hold you uh, in that energy or just hold you physically sometimes it's really really important I know for a fact, and this is me also, that often um, light workers will um, tend to isolate themselves because it's actually quite painful to be around other people and also because often they're the most awakened person on their environment and everybody comes to them with their problems. So it's this kind of a shell, yeah? I notice a kind of shell that pops up when you're expecting like a hit of some sort, whether it's energetic or emotional or even physically. There's like a hardening of energy around you or even the physical body goes into tension and wham, it, it arrives. But then if you're like on that situation all the time, eventually you, you, you build up that hardness and you just move away. Uh, I think now around the planet, and especially in environments such as the forum that we've created for this experiment, and there's loads of other uh, groups out there too, who are exploring new ways of existing together and supporting and co-creating without any hierarchy and stuff like that, so that it can be really true connection, a real essence of being connected to others, and I think that is key because this, like I said, you know, it's like this experiment would not have been possible if it hadn't been for, for Jesse. And also Ili, you know, the, the webmaster, the person who programmed it, and is there in the forum every day, making sure everybody's been able to do things, taking care of people and supporting all of us at a technical level. So it's like, and and I find that by when we have that kind of experience and people doing what they really love to do it's really beautiful and beautiful huge things can happen so yeah th um, day seven has been about that for me it's about understanding the the support understanding where we can go when those energetic hits come towards us or situations or people and it really is important to stay true, uh, not to react, but to respond, yeah? And I found, again, you know, it's like the easiest way to respond is to really process that big emotional energy first, or stress, or whatever it was, and then move forward from there. And acknowledge and be grateful for those energies and those individuals. And sometimes it can just be somebody at the store, you know, that says something really nice to you when you've bought something. And and that can just change everything, those little things that change your day. And maybe do something, you know, maybe today you could do something ins that inspires for somebody else. If it's a smile, you know, if you look at somebody, even in England, and anybody who's lived in England knows what I'm talking about. Even in the street, you know, people don't look at each other, they don't smile, they're, they're like very serious looking. And um, But even here, if you engage somebody's eyes and you smile, they will inevitably smile back 99% of the time. <laughs> and um, often it's just, it changes the entire day, both for yourself and for the person who smiled back. Yeah. So... We live and as a species in a sort of communicating, we communicate, we contact, we connect. And I think we can, it's safe now, it's safe to come out of our shells, it's safe to come out of our isolation. And, you know, slowly at first, perhaps, but make those tentative connections, not in a needy kind of way, but in, a, in an honest and wanting to connect and co-create and be with the other people on this planet, yeah? Okay, I'll see you soon, next time. Bye!